Hey guys, what is going on here? It is AU, the Pokemon Master here, and I've got an interesting uh, um, segment to talk to you guys today. I thought thought about it last night. I'm like, whoa, this is kind of cool. Um, I don't know. It's kind of hard to word in the title, but what if Gohan chose the books over training? You know how Chi Chi's always like, go on, be a doctor, even though you could play sports and make millions of dollars. And, kind of confuses me but so what if he actually did in um, I'm gonna go through scenarios um, how the sagas would be different and what characters would be effective affected um, let's start out with the Namek saga because th the Saiyan saga wouldn't really change um, because he was forced to train like he didn't really have a decision because he got kidnapped he got unkidnapped Piccolo took him so you know boom that happened you know, he had really no choice to fight. But, when it comes to Namek, when, um, they're like, alright, who's gonna go to Namek? Bulma, Gohan, Krillin. Well, it might have just been Bulma and Krillin. You know, if it, you know, if this, in this situation, Gohan's like, no, I'm gonna listen to my mommy and do the books. So, now, going to the Namek, going to planet Namek, um, Dende could very well, possibly, not live because Krillin I mean it's not like he wouldn't have but Gohan's the reason why Dende's still alive because he's like come on Krillin we have to save him and Krillin's like oh my gosh are you stupid we're gonna die so if it was just Krillin's decision in the fact I'm in that situation Dende probably wouldn't be here so Dende would be dead put that down and whenever the Ginyu Force showed up yeah I mean Vegeta was there to help him, but I mean, it was it could have went a lot different. But Krillin could possibly be gone too, but that's very highly unlikely. I just had to put that scenario in there. Um, I do believe Goku would still turn Super Saiyan and all that good stuff because um, you know Krillin's there. Frieza doesn't really like Krillin, but. I mean, Gohan did put up a good fight against third form Frieza, um, that little moment, but that one didn't really change a whole bunch, and I just kind of showed that, hey, this person has potential, wait till the Android Saga, just wait, hey, hey, and then they're kind of like shoving that in our face. So, um, not too much in the Namek Saga, um, or Frieza Saga, however you want to say it, but Dende would probably be dead, and, you know, that kind of shifts the story a little bit, but not by too much. Um, let's jump on to the Android Saga. And would it be over? Like, that's like everybody's like, oh, this is stupid. Uh, when it comes to Android Saga, it's done. Maybe. Um, but whenever the Cell games came around, um, you know, it was just one-on-one. -on -one, and they were really, uh, you know, they show their pride about the fact that, all right, if they're going to do it, we're going to do it because Vegeta and Goku, Piccolo, Krillin was like, uh, cause whenever Trunks is like, well, why don't we just go help Gohan? And they're like, are you stupid? He has to do this by himself. And, uh, and with Goku too. But, um, but what, but then they like, eh, well, Goku was like, well, if I, so, you know, mess up, we're, we're dead. So, they're gonna have to find a way, which is very unlikely, I do believe, if Gohan's not around, Android Saga would be the end of Z, but let's just say they figure out a way um, without Gohan and then we head on to the Boo Saga and actually the Boo Saga is bright if they survive uh, um, Cell because Gohan really wasn't that big of a deal he fought Debora. Um Vegeta could have did pretty well against Debora, um, though he wasn't a Super Saiyan 2 yet um, but I mean he didn't make too much of a difference. Um, they had just, you know, going through Bobby's spaceship, which I don't know how much too canon that is. I haven't read the Boo Saga in a while. Um, but it would, uh, it, it'd be good whenever Super Boo comes along and he just absorbs, um, you know, just Piccolo and uh, Gotenks. Um, not Ultimate Gohan, where he just becomes a mentally OP you have to bring out Vegito. Vegito probably might not even been around because 
Um, Ultimate Gohan is about the same strength as the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, so if... And Gohan fought... Um, uh, Boo Tanks pretty well, we'll call him. Um, he fought him pretty well, I think, just... Most of the time. And I think Goku could have did some work also. Possibly finishing him off. Or maybe, well, forcing him to go to Kid Buu form. And then once it gets to Kid Buu form, it's just regular old. So if they survive the Android Saga, they can, they're good. Like, Ultimate Gohan, yes, is a gr great, you know, part of the sh show and uh, manga. But it really doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, so that that's pretty, like, that's going through, like, how it would be, in my opinion. But let's look at some characters. Piccolo comes to mind, um, though he is with him in the Saiyan Saga, is it enough, like, to change his mind? Because, um, in Namek, we didn't see, in the Namek Saga, we didn't see Piccolo a whole lot, but in the Android Saga, in, in the manga, even, um, he said, well, he pretty much says, I still hate you guys, but if I was strong enough, if I was stronger than Goku, you guys would pretty much be dead. He, he was still kind of had that evilness in him, um, but kind of maybe having Gohan around, like Gohan still would be around, but he wouldn't have the same relationship because, you know, he wasn't training with them. He was on the books, so he didn't really have that relationship with them. Um, so Piccolo could very well be, still be evil, but since Gohan would have been around for the Saiyan Saga, I think Piccolo would have been okay. But the next character I want to discuss is Goten. Uh, would Go Goten like skip out on his training also? I honestly don't think so. Um, Chi Chi was never. Chi Chi even, like, um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I know this is in the filler, but I don't know if it's. I know it's in the show, but I don't know if it's uh, in the manga. I haven't read the Boo Saga manga in a while. But, um, he even. He said that Chi Chi kind of helped him turn into Super Saiyan, which kind of tells me, well. Uh, I guess she doesn't care about Goten too much, and she probably knows that he's probably a little stupid, or something, I don't know. So Goten wouldn't probably be that much different, that's why Gotenks would still be in the uh, equation come Buu Saga. Um, but what I think is a really interesting one, and one that's hard to an answer, how would future Trunks be? And that is kind of like, I can't figure out a really great answer. But would he, you know, would he be alone fighting the androids? He would be stronger than Gohan because if if it gets to that scenario, Gohan would probably be like, well, I'm a Saiyan, half Saiyan. I could definitely help out. But Future Trunks, you know, has been tr well, been training since he was a child. Um, pretty kind of much. No, well, yeah. But he wouldn't have a mentor of Gohan. He would still like train. But he wouldn't have the guidance from Gohan because Gohan's inexperienced also of him being, you know, not cracking the book or cracking the books instead of, you know, cracking the dojo. So that's kind of my opinion. I know I was kind of everywhere with this one, but um, if you're going to quick run through during the Namek Saga, then they would be dead. There would be no Guardian. There would be no new Kami. I mean, they'd have to pick somebody else from Namek. Possibly no Krillin. Um... But, you know, he was no Krillin anyway, he did die anyway, so, I mean, there wouldn't be that much of a change, I think he'd just maybe die earlier. Um, Android Saga could very well just end, because, I mean, who else is going to fight on? I don't think Goku could have whipped out Super Saiyan 2. Um, and would the Z Fighters just, ha just kind of, like, try to team up? Because, um, here, here's what I've in my head, this might be a too bizarre. But with the instant transmission, um, Kamehameha, um, and then right after that, they know he's going to pop up. And then Vegeta rolls in with a final flash. That, that probably would finish him off. Um, but anyway, that's just me. So, um, in the Buu Saga, wouldn't change pretty much at all. But Goku would have an easier fight with Super Buu. Possibly not uh, fusing with Vegeta. Uh, becoming, of course, Vegeta. And Piccolo could possibly be evil, but I doubt it. <laughs> because the Saiyan Saga... Um, I already put, in my opinion, he would be actually training in the Saiyan Saga because he had no choice. Goten would probably still be the same, but less 
guidance, he wouldn't be as strong because he didn't have Gohan to train him. Future Trunks also kind of being doomed too. Um, it really screws it up with Future Trunks timeline, which he'd just be too weak to fight anybody because uh, he wouldn't have the mentor of Gohan. Um, so that's kind of my thing. I'm sorry for it being super long, super everywhere. But anyway, guys, if you want more of this, more DBZ anything, that's pretty much I do. That's what I do. <laughs> Um, subscribe uh, if you like the video leave a like comment down below like your scenarios and what you think would happen if Gohan did uh, uh, choose books over uh, training so anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed like favorite subscribe don't favorite